Okay, so in this video we're going to be talking about uh, time-based scenarios. Uh, I know that in my last few videos we did the RS Logics uh, Micro Starter Lite um, and we used the emulator. So uh, we used the RS Logics uh, Emulate 500. Again, if you haven't seen those videos, please uh, check those out um, and then you know you can kind of catch up on where we're at. Um, so what I wanted to kind of address is we, we made a timer, basically just a quick um, you know, flasher timer. So I wanted to give you a different option if you wanted to use like a time-based scenario based upon the processor. So if you look up here, if you go to uh, processor status and you go to processor status and you can see there's a free running clock. So how would you use that free running clock, right? You can easily go to uh, change your uh, radiance down here from uh, structure to binary and when you change it to binary, then you can see your clock. So you can basically look at your time-based scenario. You can look at watchdogs. You can look at whatever you need. And in this case, you can actually choose what bits you want to use. Um, you know, as far as like what your timing scheme is, um, how quickly you want to, you know, index a, a timer or, or you want to index something. This is basically counting in binary, so just keep that in mind. So you, you can just simply just copy this and then use it. So uh, again, go to, um, when you see it, it's going to be in the structured format. So you want to go to binary and then use it. And we'll go ahead and show that. So what I'm going to do is actually go offline. And I'm going to change this to use that bit. Uh, and then I'm going to verify my project and then so actually we can come in here and make another one as well we can come in here and uh, <coughs> so we can name this one what we'll do is we'll name this one here and we'll name the timer um, we'll keep this like it was so we'll basically just copy this and drag it back down here and we'll keep the scenario where that's the flasher count, our timer, our flasher bit that we wanted to use. And we'll call this one, um, we'll basically grab another bit right here and use this. And come down here and put uh, processor uh, timer. And then hit enter and that way we have what we want so um, and again we can come back and put a description in there if we wanted to as far as that goes so edit description put processor timing so we can do that and then again we want to verify so verify come up here and verify your project and then what we'll do is we'll come over here and click download. So we'll download, it prompt you. Um, again, we're using the emulator, so we'll just download and go online. It will go to remote program. Chain, come up here to the very top and go to run. And then we can actually see what we've done. Um, so we can see the different timing schemes that we have. And you can actually time these two together if you wanted to, or you can, you know, this is more of a constant you can use. Now, what I mean by constant is um, this is basically timing this done off the processor. So um, it's always going to basically, instead of having to make your own timing scheme or make your own timers, if you wanted to save the, the wrong space and save however many bits you're using or even just save the time from you programming you can just simply grab the S4 bit uh, again that's going to the processor status and then changing uh, this down to binary and then finding whatever bits you would like to use so you have uh, basically a slew of options you can use over here as far as that goes but I just wanted to kind of give you a, a different timing scheme that you can actually use to kind of enlighten you that there's you know you didn't have to program every single element. A lot of things are actually built in. So it kind of helps with, you know, uh, building programs and therefore actually making things a lot better. 
So again, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, I know this was a real short video. I just wanted to kind of to address uh, a different timing scheme um, in the environment that we, you know, kind of introduced the other day with the RS Logics uh, Emulate 500 and the um, RS Logics um, the micro starter light kit. So again, hopefully that was helpful, and um, let me know what you think, and we'll keep on, you know, making different videos. Thank you.